Try not to gasp when you see finally who Rachel Maddow's partner is. Harrison Ford and Callista Flockhart, 16 years. Ford fell deeply in love with Callista when he was well over 60 years old. Even though they were very different in age, they quickly said their vows and had been together for 16 years. The smiles on their lips show how happy they are with their marriage. Ford has millions of dollars saved up, so he can pretty much follow his dream of becoming an airplane pilot. As far as we know, the star is happy to own a few private jets and even has a license to fly them. We think he can reach all of his goals as long as Flockhart is with him. It's known that Harrison helps people out in times of trouble, which shows how kind he is. Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi, 14 years. Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi are some of the cutest couples out there. Since the beginning of their relationship, these two have had great chemistry. Ellen began dating Portia in 2004 and the two of them got married in 2008. They became very close because they both loved animals. There's been a lot of talk about trouble in paradise for a while and many people thought Ellen and Portia might break up. But when they were seen together in public, all rumors were put to rest. The two have been together for 14 years and we're sure they'll be able to handle any problem that comes their way and keep their bank accounts full. Chris Cuomo and Christina Grieven, 18 years. The American writer Chris Cuomo is best known for hosting the CNN show Cuomo Primetime, which looks at news stories during the week. As the main reporter for ABC News at the start of his career, he covered everything that had to do with law and justice. Besides that, he was a co-anchor on ABC's very popular news show 2020. Chris has been happily married to Christina Grieven Cuomo for 18 years and they have a good life. When Christina met Chris, she was in charge of the magazine Gotham. In 2001, they got married in New York. They're both journalists and lived together in Manhattan with their three kids. Chris and Christina have been together for 18 years and have a good relationship. They both want to spend the rest of their lives together. We hope the best for the Cuomos. Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel, 11 years. There was a chance meeting between Jessica Biel and Justin Timberlake in 2007. They dated for four years and got married in 2011. This pair is one of the nicest ones on the list. It's normal for relationships to have rough spots, and Jessica and Justin quickly learned that theirs wasn't the only one. They worked out all their differences, though, and stayed together. They got through rough seas together, and now they're happy and in love with each other. After years of working hard as a singer and restaurant owner, Justin has made a lot of money and is now worth about $230 million. Cool stuff. Brooke Baldwin and James Fletcher, 5 years. She's a well-known person in the public. He's a well-known director. They met by chance. These two people met at a party in 2015 for the first time. For Brooke, it was love at first sight. Baldwin used the fact that James was going through her town as an excuse to ask him to dinner. They had another chance to spend some time together when Brooke talked James into spending the new year with her while she was on duty. After these events, the pair was pretty much always together. James finally chose to pop the question to Brooke on her 38th birthday while they were spending time together and having fun. At a fancy event in May 2018, they made their marriage legal. Aaron Burnett and David Rubalata, 15 years. Aaron Burnett and David Rubalata have been happily married for 15 years. Their first date was a blind date in 2003, and they got engaged in 2011. The host of CNN Outfront and the boss of Citigroup got married on December 21, 2012, in a wedding with a Christmas theme. Their three children are named Niall Thomas, Colby Isabel, and Owen Thomas. They've done a lot in their lives, but don't let anyone see their personal lives. What's great about Aaron and David is that neither of them has been linked to or claimed to have had an affair with someone else. This is very uncommon for married celebrities. Both of them being there for each other and keeping their life as private as possible have made their marriage strong. Tucker Carlson and Susan Andrews Imagine having a crush on someone in 10th grade. You wouldn't think that you'd end up with that person, would you? For Tucker Carlson and Susan Andrews, though, they did. Sounds like the stars knew they'd fall in love. They began dating in high school and even kept dating after they went to different colleges, even though they lived very far apart. Carlson asked her to marry him before he finished. 
Their wedding was in 1991, and even though it's been 30 years, they've never been apart. Tucker's made $20 million as a political analyst and a reporter, and they can now share it. He's been doing a good job with his show Tucker Carlson Tonight since 2016. During 2019, he also found time to be on AM Joy and Fox Files. Juan Williams and Susan Delise Williams, 42 years. With his work on Fox News, Juan Williams is a well-known name and face. Williams is one of the co-hosts of The Five Show. He's been married to Delise Williams for more than 40 years. In 1978, they said their vows. Delise doesn't make a lot of noise, but she does show up and say something every once in a while. Her cooking skills were even shown on Fox & Friends as she demonstrated how to prepare crab legs. Juan likely loves his wife so much because she's such a great cook. After all, it's said that the way to a man's heart is through his food. They have a son called Antonio Williams. He has a master's degree in writing and is a senior head of government and foreign relations. We are sure that Juan and Delise are very proud of their son. Don Lemon and Tim Malone Four years. Before joining CNN in 2006, American TV news host Don Lemon worked for NBC as a news reporter on shows like Today and Nightly News. He became well known as the charming host of CNN Tonight. He also has a late night show called Tonight with Don Lemon. In April 2019, Don Lemon shared a cute Instagram post that said he was going to marry real estate agent Tim Malone. The two are said to have met in New York City in 2016 and started dating soon after. The couple told everyone about their romance in 2017 and even kissed twice on live TV. For three years, Tim has been there for Don in every way. He recently asked Don to marry him with the help of their saved dogs, Boomer and Barkley. Rachel Maddow and Susan McCoola, 20 years. It was by chance that Rachel and Susan met when the photographer and artist hired Rachel to do some work for them. Well, that was just the start of their story. They've been together for 20 years now. There were problems in both of their lives that they had to work through to get through. That's probably what they had in common that brought them together and made them understand and care about each other. Because they're interested in different things in their personal lives, Maddow and McCoola get along great and can't be separated. We have no problem saying that these two look great together, and we guess nothing can separate them. David McCallum and Catherine Carpenter, 53 years. The Scottish actor became well known for his role as Ilya Kuryakin in The Man from Uncle. Not long ago, he got a lot of attention for playing Dr. Donald Mallard on the famous TV show NCIS. McCallum's been in show business since 1947, which is more than seven decades. He's still going strong, and a big part of that is because his life partner, Catherine Carpenter, makes him happy. There was a split in his first marriage to Jill Ireland. He was happy with his second marriage to Catherine, though. The five kids they had together are now all grown up. They've been together for 53 years. We want them to stay stuck together forever. Let's hope it comes true.